We are in the middle of some of the oldest landscape in France. This is the Cantal region. Several million years ago, this was the active volcano part of France. Since that, the soil has become very fertile and for the last 2,000 years, the locals have been making a cheese called Cantal. It's early in the morning. The cheesemakers from La Fromagerie des Monts du Cantal are busy making one of the tastiest cheeses in France made with raw milk. So once the liquid and the solids have been separated, it is pressed for the first time in this very big machine. The cahier, as it is called, is then cut into small pieces, drained and pressed into big blocks. It is then left to mature for a minimum of 10 hours before it is placed in big molds lined with a cloth that will bring a fungus into the cheese. The molds are pressed progressively for 18 hours. This cheese is, is ready to be matured. It has been labeled. It is about 40, 42 kilos, and it has been made with about 420 liters of milk. That's a lot. So here we are in a, in a tunnel that was used for the railways many years ago, where the Cantal cheese is maturing and the cavist or the cellar master uh, looks after the cheeses, wipe them every day to remove any mousse, as they call it, and then to turn the cheese around and to make sure they are in good condition. Once in the stores, Cantal is sold in three different stages of maturation. I dropped into Lander, a local hotel restaurant, where the chef, Francis Delma, likes to use local ingredients in his creative cooking. He cooks for us a Cantal cream with a wild mushroom toast. Francis uses a six months old Cantal. It has got plenty of flavor, but it's not too strong. The chef puts a little rhubarb stew in porcelain molds coated with a little light caramel. He then mixes some cream, some grated Cantal, and a few eggs. Then, add some hot milk and blends to a very smooth texture. He pours this cream into the prepared molds and cook them in a bain-marie in the oven at 140 degrees until just set. Francis then alternates some cooked slices of mushroom and pieces of cantal on a long slice of baguette. After drizzling the top with a little olive oil, he places the baguette under the grill to melt the cheese. He then unmolds the Cantal cream onto a plate. It is like a cheese crème caramel. To balance the cheese, he serves it with some green salad. He delicately places the mushroom toast on the cream and garnishes with baby tomatoes. It is almost a work of art and so tasty. This is Corte sur Ciel, one of the most beautiful villages of France. And tomorrow we are going to discover the great food and wine of this glorious region.